Good morning, guys. Luke with Premium Aquatics here. I've been told we... I've been told we have some maintenance going on that I need to be getting done this week for some reason. So let's check this out. Oh no, looks like someone has to clean filter socks. Don't you hate having to crawl under your tank to get to those nasty socks? Welp, might as well get started. Getting water everywhere. And gross, that stinks. Good job though. Now for washing them. That's right, only three socks for the entire washer. What a waste, but you've got to clean them. Ah, nice and clean. Now to climb back in there to install them. Finally, good job champ. What's next? Ouch, every week? Say no more, your prayers are answered. With this clear filter roller, you can say goodbye socks, and this clear will do the work for you. This clear can do so much, it can help you wipe those tears while you're watching your favorite movie. Eating breakfast for dinner? Don't waste napkins, the clear can help here too. Hey, put that book down. The clear can even help you while you're doing your business in here. The possibilities are endless, so make sure no, to sir. stop on by no. and grab Let's yours go. today. Come on. Fix it. Bring me up the color. Come on. There we go. No, that's not going to work for anyone. It's definitely not suitable for any of the other things that the infomercial tried to get us on, so don't utilize it as that. I will not be held liable for what you do with it. So um, if you remember that big box that I had gotten in a couple of videos uh, a few weeks ago, that's what this was. I've been waiting to get this set up, but with doing videos, it just takes a lot longer to get this tank all in one piece uh, so I can make everything sure everything's in line. But I've got it. Let's get this opened up. I'll show you what it looks like, and we'll get it back in the system here. Let's get rid of these socks. This is the clear filter roller. It's wonderful, especially if you have a Bash C Signature Series, uh, some of the Trigger, Emerald, or Sapphires, the ones that have a drain chamber that overflows into the sock compartment. So if you don't know how this works, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this filter fleece, which is 50 microns. Most socks are 200, 300, maybe even 100 if you get some of the smaller ones. The smaller the micron, the more we're gonna filter out. So this is gonna filter out quite a bit uh, and really nicely for us. But we're gonna basically set a roll in here. We're gonna feed it down around and back up to a empty cartridge that will take all of our dirty fleece. And then as water is forced through this overflow, it's forced through the fleece, filters it out. As this roll gets dirty, the water level is gonna raise a little bit. It's going to hit the optical sensor on this controller, which will tell the motor, hey, we need to turn. It's gonna turn a little bit. The water level will then start flowing more freely through that new section and it'll say, stop turn off, we're good, then it'll repeat, repeat, and repeat. The great part is once this is filled up, all I have to do is throw it in the trash. No washing, no wasting water, all that time, effort on 50 different socks you have, so it's easier to clean through all of them and not wasting three socks for a whole laundry load. Um, so it's really nice. Now you may think, okay, uh, but you've got this dirty fleece that's just sitting up in the top. Clear took that in consideration. If you actually pull this up and look at the bottom, they have a carbon pad here to help filter out any stench that may come from this. I don't think there's gonna be a lot unless your system is really, really loaded with 
excess organics and food waste and all that stuff. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of that anyways, but they do have this and you can actually move these replace it so you do have that to help filter out any smells and odors that you may get from this which is really nice i don't think any others have that so that's kind of a cool little feature that they have there all right so let's get to it um, these pieces here come with it this is just a collar that goes in your sump in case the hole um, to where your filter would go in is too small or too big. This allows you to put a little extra collar in there to make sure it sits properly. Um, obviously, I'm using a bracket, so this is no longer needed, uh, but that's what that is for. Okay, so I removed the cover as well as the motor just so we can get the first installation of these two rubber pieces inside. We're just gonna open this up, and basically this is gonna be able to do a 90 degree. If you have a tight area in the sump, you can still utilize this and easily install it and you're not trying to fit this longer piece inside. So we're gonna put these two rubber pieces, the short end inside this collar here. These, uh, these little rubber pieces are actually a little tricky to get in because they're pretty tight. So if you can get it started, you can actually pull it from the bottom then. So now it's in a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll take this thumb screw here and unscrew that. This part actually needs to come out anyways when we thread the fleece through. And now, if you look, I can just, I can see both pieces and I can just pull them through, which will make it a lot easier. Okay, so those are installed. Uh, here's that little uh, collar that uh, it's already pre-installed here, but that I showed you the two extras in case you have a little bit larger or smaller system. So basically that's all you need to do here. So we have this piece removed already, so that's good. So for the filter fleece, all we're gonna do is we're gonna untape this and we're gonna take the bigger plastic roll, slide it inside, and then this just slides in the first bracket in here. The one important part is to ensure that the filter fleece is going over the top and coming down instead of going back and rolling underneath. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna thread it through here. So this tape might make it a little bit harder, so we may have to cut that off, but we want it to basically go and travel past all these little rollers here which will make it so it travels smoothly when the motor turns on so i have it down at the bottom it's just going to go around each roller it's pretty self-explanatory you're just essentially keeping it on the outside of all these rollers this tape semi helps semi is a pain in the butt um, but so far it's working okay so now that we got the fleece up and around our last step is i'm going to take this tape and cut it because it's going to get in the way here of the last part but now we have this last gray piece, the spindle. It does have a hole on one side only. That needs to be facing the motor. That way the motor that has this little spindle as well is going to fit in there correctly and work properly for you. So that is very important. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the filter fleece, pull it through, and we're just gonna wrap it around, I would say probably three maybe four times we can always undo it if we need to but essentially we're going to wrap it around so that way it's tight around the roller and it's not going to come loose when we start everything now we can just fit it into the motor that spindle does fit pretty tightly so now you see i have a little bit of slack so i'm just going to roll this initial first one back so i can get it tight again and bam the fleece is in we're ready to go i can put this top back on and then we can also slide this unit back up into the bottom. We'll screw this in. I did forget the optical sensor, so we do need to install that. Very simple, it has a little threaded nut on here. There's a little opening right in the side, which is where it's gonna go. All we're gonna do is make sure the nut is down below on the inside, so you're not <laughs> trapped with the nut on the outside like I just did. Put this inside, and then we'll just screw on the nut and make it tight. All right, so with the optical sensor in, our motor in, now all we have to do is connect up the controller. For the controller, we have the power supply. We're gonna put it up on the power port. The motor will go where the motor is identified, and then the optical sensor is gonna go right there on the TS. Now we just plug this in, put it in the sump, and we'll get it rolling. All right, guys, it's in the sump. It's doing its thing. Again, this is the four inch model. It can handle up to 750 gallons per hour draining through it. So if your tank drains more than that, you're either gonna to need to go with a second one as well, or go up to their seven inch, which the seven inch can handle up to 1800 gallons. If you have a sump that can handle 
uh, it just dropping in, you're good to go, perfect. The only thing you may need is a flow diverter. That is if you have, if you're only gonna use say one and you have two filter sock holes, you'll need to close one of those up. That way you don't have water bypassing your filter fleece. If you don't have that type of setup, fret not, worry not. You can do like I do. I have this bracket on here that allows you to drop it in, put in your sump and install it. So that way it'll work for your system. So that's what I'm using. It looks great. I love it. Uh, we'll see how it does in the long term. And then one other thing I'm adding to the system this week is going to be Reef Bright's Live Rock Enhance. We've had some great reviews on this so far, so I'm excited to get it in here. I have some diatoms starting to get on the top of my sand, so we're going to add this to help combat that, as well as see the overall system for this rock and sand that I got going. We'll talk more about this product next week, but I wanted to let you know that way we can see how it works through this next week, see what it does for my system, and then we'll talk about more how to dose it, what it's supposed to do, all that great stuff. So make sure to stay tuned for next week. That's it for me. I'm gonna get out of here. Have a great weekend as always. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you stay the most up to date on this system as well as our other videos. I'll put links in the descriptions for everything that I used this week down below. So make sure to go check those out and we'll see you next weekend.